This is getting crazy. The Orlando Magic have made two signings since 6, 6 p.m. One of them, Terrence Ross, four years, $54 million. The second one, Al Farouk Amino, three years, $29 million. Not all free agent signings are sexy. And I was talking about this one in my Kings video that I made, so you should go check that out. But I really like these two signings because of the great value they're at. Terrence Ross averaged 15 points a game. We always know about his offensive arsenal. And in a team like Orlando where he's going to get more opportunities, I think that's going to continue to increase after having a career year last year with Orlando. And then you look at a guy like Al Camino, one of the most underrated 3 and D guys in the game. This guy can play the three, he can slide down to the four, pretty so pretty versatile, very good defender and pretty good three-point shooter as well. So a team like Orlando that does, likes to do a lot of banging down in the post, they're going to have a lot of three-point shooting next year between uh, Fournier, Terrence Ross, and then Al Farouk Amino. And this Orlando team was already pretty good last year, seven seed in the East, and now they're going to be looking even stronger next year. They've got a whole bunch of depth. That's the first thing I think of. So they've obviously got to address the point guard position, but they're not going to address if they think Markel Fultz is healthy. But I, the way the reports are reading, I don't know if he's going to be healthy. You've got Fournier, Al Farouk Aminu, Aaron Gordon, Terrence Ross, Mo Bamba, Nikola Vucevic. That's just off the top of my head. Their first round pick is not even going to play this year. So you've got a lot of guys. Oh, and Jonathan Isaac, never, who had a career year this year as well. So they have a lot of things they can do this year. They can trade some of those young guys to try to get a more established piece because they've got a lot of assets uh, they can play everyone and have a really deep bench, but I really like these two signings because they don't restrict you financially too bad. You know, we're looking at $21 million, $22 million for both of them combined per year. Two really solid players that'll help this team mesh and add shooting because this team before Aaron Gordon, Isaac, Vucevic, Markel Fultz, not crazy shooting team. So I think these two signings will help space the floor just like New Orleans and JJ Redick are gonna do anyway that'll wrap this video up thank you for watching and it's free agency time best time of the nba season